Square Inventory Management Tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can manage your inventory using Square Inventory. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now I'm over here onto the main website, squareup.com slash inventory management and this is how it looks like. So quickly what we're going to do is we're just simply going to jump into it and sign up. So over here, simply click on get started and we'll begin with the sign in process so over here you simply create your account by entering in your email address confirming your email address creating a password and then just simply clicking on continue so i'm going to go ahead and do this and i'll catch you guys in a second so then you just tell about your business basically you know provide your information about your business now what type of business it is what type of category it falls into do you currently accept credit cards business contacts postal code address and all of this information and you're good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and fill out this form and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so as you can see over here congratulations you're all set so now all you gotta do is just simply log in now you can go ahead and download the application as well to get started with it so that you can get more options within that application so but for now we're just simply gonna go ahead and sign into our dashboard over here it's loading up so give it a couple of seconds and we'll begin okay so over here as you can see this is how the dashboard looks like let me just get this out of the way all right so here we go so over here when you first sign into your account this is how it looks like you're going to have a welcome page over here and over here to activate or complete your account you're going to have to follow these steps right so over here one two three three steps we need to do we need to activate our account and take payments over here we need to verify our identity link our bank account and take our first payment step number two is to set up our account over here you have to customize your receipts set up your taxes adding a location and exploring the software itself and then number three is to get started with square point of sale for this you gotta download the application but that's how you set up your squarespace account but for now over here let me just show you how you can manage your inventory so over here on the left side, you will see you have all these options. You have home, report, transactions, item, and customers, right? And then down below, you have all of your products, customers, items, online payments, reportings, and all of that. So this is basically where you handle all of your items. So first things first, let's go ahead and create our customer. So over here in customers, click over here on customers. And over here, you can see all of your options over here. You'll be able to create all of your directory, all of your customs, and all of that, all of your customers and everything. So click over here to see your directory and you can go ahead and see it it's not scrolling down i wanted to show you the entire process i don't know why i can't do that but let's go ahead and see our directory so over here is basically where you create your customers you can create new customers or import an existing list if you already have one so over here click on create a new customer and over here you enter in all of this information so you enter in the first name last name the phone number uh, email address addresses in general groups companies reference id and birthday if you want to add all of this information you can but for now i'll just enter in john doe and i'll just say he's from the united kingdom and i'll just enter in a random number there you go for the email i'll just input the temporary email over here and address is of course going to be in united kingdom i'll just enter in all this fake information and then for the birthday, I'll just input a random date. Yeah, 1995, and then I'll save it. There you go, contact created successfully. As you can see over here, there we go. We are now good to go. So now that we have our customer, let's go back, click over here onto the hamburger sign and click on items. Now we're gonna go into the inventory side of things. So over here, you basically have your item library, image library, modifiers, categories, and all of that. You can create a category over here depending upon what type of items you use so let's go ahead and create a category and over here i'll just say summer items and i click on save there we go we have our category now we go into the item library and over here we create a new item so we click on create a new item wait for it to load up now over here we enter in the item name so i'll just say this is a black dress we'll click over here and we can upload our own image as well okay this image is set there we go although it's a little bit big so what we can do is actually we can delete it and we can upload a new one i think this one would look better yeah there we go that looks much better and then we can set it to our category as well and then over here we can add a description as well the perfect dress for a party i think would look good and we can set locations where it is available we can so for now i think all locations are good and then over here we enter in our sk number so i'll just enter in a random sk number right here 
and then we have the price of the items like unit per item so we can per add per hour per liter per ounce per yard so for now we'll just say per item and we'll enter in let's say 50 dollars there we go and then over here we have stocks so over here this is important so over here you click on manage stocks and over here you can manage your stocks right you have your detail of the item over here you manage stocks and custom attributes you click on manage stocks and over here you turn on tracking and over here you click on stocks received and over here you enter in 50 so i already added this before but yeah now we can turn on low stocks and we can add 10 as well so over here as you can see then we click on done then over here you will see you have 100 on hand so you can go ahead and remove it as well if you want to but yeah this is how you do it then you have custom attributes as well so you can add custom attributes to your item you can add different variations like different colors sizes and maybe like a special one with a different material as well then you just simply click on save so over here as you can see you have your item right here this is basically how you add different items and then over here on the left side as you can see you have all these different options and if you click on settings you will see you have dining options comp and void and then you have inventory if you click on inventory you can see all of your uh, insight notifications as well so show catalog insight show sales insight show inventory insight and all of that and then you have units as i said before in units you can enter in a specific type of unit for measurement of an item you can add pounds kilograms or ounces whatever it is that you want then you have options as well so over here you can add different options for an item to create variations like sizes colors materials and all of that and then you have sale taxes as well so you can add in taxes and then you have discounts where you can create different discounts for different items so that our customers can go ahead and use those discounts when checking out so that they can get a sales price and then you have categories as i said before so pretty simple this is how you use it nothing too crazy about it and then over here you have all these different options as well such as customers items and orders online payment reporting you can go ahead and add all of your details accordingly to where you live and accordingly to your banking details as well and in your items and orders you can see all of your orders over here if you click on orders you will see all of your orders that are available within this region and in payments you can see you have subscriptions as well so you can turn on or make a subscription plan so if you click on create a plan you can go ahead and create a subscription plan that people can you know subscribe to but currently it's not available for me so we'll just leave it at that so pretty simple nothing too crazy this is how you use squares inventory option and as i said before in order to complete this setup you have to do these steps now i can't do it because this is a very long process you have to verify your identity you know you have to input all of your data over here your personal information to verify your identity as you can see over here you gotta input all of this again you have to link your bank account take your first payment as well set up your account you can do all of this on your own it's very easy you don't need me to uh, you know hold your hand and guide you through every single step so but still if you have any trouble or something goes wrong leave a comment in this comment section and i'll be sure to answer them so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye